Okay, uh, good afternoon. Uh, today, uh, this is week six, and today is a Thursday. And I'm good today. We are going to uh, do still under sharing stress or gender. Will be on uh, condition uh, of unsymmetrical uh, loading of thin wall section. Okay, so this is the last topic that we're going to do on sharing stress. And it's, it's not that difficult at all. Okay, the difficult part was the, the tin wall. Okay, so, so we're going to look at condition of symmetrical Loading. Okay, so I'm going to show you what do we mean by uh, symmetrical first. Then later on, I'll sh I'll sh you can see the difference between symmetrical and unsymmetrical. And I have posted all these diagrams, okay, on Avenue to Learn. You should download them. Oh, sorry. So I'm going to use. Uh, this job, uh, uh, this figures first. So what you see down here, so if I were to uh, draw our trans transformation, that this is our uh, X and this is our Y. This is our Z okay. and what you see on the right hand side is we have a Y over here and Z over here. Okay. So what you you see down here, if we have a load P okay, applied in line to the centroid about the Y axis or the Z axis, as you can see. Okay, so the dot C is the the point of the centroid uh, relative to the x and y axis. So point C, I'll write down here, oops. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So point C is the position of the centroid along the y and z axis okay and point p the load that you see over here point p is applied in line okay to point c and what you see over here okay what you see over here is the deflection dot deflection were only occur uh, in the XY plane. Okay, in the XY plane. So XY plane where we are referring to. So where I shape now, right? This is your X, Y, plane. Okay. So when this is the case, right, we can apply the formula. Okay, we can apply the formula. Which is uh, the shear stress is equal to uh, Vy over 
I Z Z Q Z divided by T. Okay, and this is only valid. Okay, this is only valid if we have a symmetrical. Okay, symmetrical uh, uh, loading condition. Where uh, deflection uh, only occur in the x y plane. Okay, so this is what we call symmetrical loading. Now, then the next thing that we're, we're, we're going to look at is unsymmetrical. Anyone, any questions so far? You are OK? OK, I, I don't hear any question. Then we, we look in a uh, condition of unsymmetrical. Okay, we have a condition of unsymmetrical loading. So again, I'm going to get the diagrams or the figures. Okay, so for this case, you will see a condition of unsymmetrical bending. So why is this unsymmetrical uh, loading? Okay, so what are the difference? Right, there are some similarity similarities, and there's some difference with uh, symmetrical loading. So what is it? Okay, so what you can see over here now, all right? Again, I draw a transformation. X, Y, and Z. Okay, so what you see now in unsymmetrical uh, loading, okay, a structure. Were, uh, were deflect in the XY plane. Okay, so it will still deflect in the XY plane together. Okay, is this together with a twist okay, or rotation? about the z uh, about the x axis okay so we have a deflection coming down okay so we have a deflection okay we you can also see we also have a rotation by the angle theta okay so theta is the twist okay so why that is happening Right. The, the thing is, why this is how? Why do we see? Why do we see a twist? Okay. So if we look at the cross-sectional view now, right? If we draw a cross-sectional view, so we have a y, and we have our z. Okay. So I'm going to, on 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 the cross-sectional view. I'm going to construct our centroid, okay, our centroid about the y-axis, okay, so this is along the y-axis, all right, so this is our centroid. So on a centroid, okay, I'm going to label on the right of the centroid is my right-hand side, 
and my left there's left hand side. Now let me ask you, okay, which side is more rigid? Okay, and one of you have to answer. Okay, is it the left hand side is more rigid? Or the right hand side is more rigid. Anyone, anyone don't want to make a guess, you can type and I can see your 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 uh or you can say something. Left or right? Left, right? Look at Lucia, you are right and 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 sent out. You are you are you are you're absolutely right. The left hand side is more rigid. Okay. So the being more rigid on the left hand side, okay. So why is it uh more rigid? Because you have a higher Uh, resistance or higher uh, I value on the right left hand side and you have a lower uh, lower I value okay so when that is the case right when that is the case the structure right the structure will tend to rotate Okay, so the 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 twisting direction. Okay, you have to, and like what 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 you said. Uh, we said earlier this has is a lower rigidity. Over here we have higher rigidity. More rigid, more resistant to bending. Okay. So and and we realize that the twist, the twist, the twist occur in the YZ plane. Okay. So YZ plane. So the YZ plane, this is our YZ plane. Okay, so we have a twist. So now, how? So so the the issue is this. Okay, so how are we going to apply Okay, how are we going to apply the formula shear stress is equal to v y over I Z Z Q Z divided by T. What do we mean? How are we going to apply? Now, this formula that you see over here, okay, this formula you see over here, okay, is only valid when the deflection only when there is linear deflection okay, without the twist. Okay. This is only valid when you have a linear deflection without a twist. Okay. So how about are we going to apply this formula? Right, we we only we we so what we are trying to do is we are we are, we have to use this formula. Okay, we are not going to develop anything new at all. Okay, we must use this formula. Okay, so th the only way now is somehow we have to eliminate the twist. Okay, so the only way to apply. Okay, the only way to apply uh, Vy over Izz Qz divided by T is to eliminate the twist theta. Okay, we have to get rid of it. Okay, so. How do we get rid of it? Okay, so I'm going to uh, get more diagrams. Okay. 
here in this diagram show us how to get rid of it. 